We figured it was appropriate to get set up just like what he was used to every Sunday. It was this type of setting just six miles away at the stadium where many got to know the man behind the super fan status. And today, this is the emotional surrounding where they say goodbye to a dear friend. His heart. His heart was for this community. His heart was for this fans. And his famous words always go skins. Prentice Smith traveled from North Carolina to say goodbye not only to his friend, his dad. It was fantastic. I mean, I think he was a more like a, I would think of as a mini celebrity, but to so many people, he was so much more than that. The U.S. Army veterans casket arrived draped with the U.S. flag, followed by flowers appropriately burgundy and gold. This bouquet with a picture sent from the Santana Moss family. Chief Z is to risk and nation what Chuck Brown is to go-go. For nearly 40 years, Williams was the unofficial mascot of the Washington Redskins. He faced physical and financial hardship in his late years, but you would never know because of that infectious smile and the tremendous hugs he gave on Sundays. When people would see him, they'd get jazzed. I mean, there was, that was us. I mean, and he was us and we were him. The Georgia native who quickly made D.C. his adopted home will be laid to rest down south later this week with his signature tomahawk axe toy in his hands. In Upper Marlboro, John Gonzalez, ABC 7 News. All right. Well, speaking of the Redskins, we've got our sports team as well as Larry Smith yep. heading down today for yep. a training camp, which starts in Richmond tomorrow morning. Yeah, and at least uh, the worst of the heat is behind us now. Okay, it's going to be humid for a few days, but nothing like the 113 uh, degree heat index we have. All right. So let's see if we can uh, generate a little good weather news for you right now. I want to uh, give you a look at uh, conditions right now. Pilate High School in Laurel, 82 degrees. So that's one of the cooler midday temperatures we've seen around our viewing area in some time. So listen, it's summertime. We get these stretches. We have a long one right now. We have a couple more 90 degree days to go before we back off into the 80s for high temperatures, but it will happen. Now, uh, if you're going to be hitting the pool this afternoon, pretty good weather for it. Lower 90s, a little bit of a breeze in and out of the clouds and sunshine, but look for the possibility of isolated showers and thunderstorms just about anywhere in the area later this afternoon and again for this evening. Live Doppler radar, let's see what we can find. Not much in the metro area. A couple little showers uh, moving uh, right now across northwestern sections of uh, Anne Arundel County, northeastern Prince George's County, and then a few more farther south and west. That's where most of the action was last night. So we'll keep an eye on things. There's a stationary boundary uh, barely to the south of the metro area. And as I said a few minutes ago, that's really going to determine a lot here over the next few days. Not only the timing of the rain, uh, where the rain will fall, but more importantly, how heavy the rain will be. And there is some potential of some heavy rain at times later tomorrow and tomorrow night. And again, as we uh, get through the day Sunday, so a lot to watch here. But again, the uh, core of that heat has been broken. Now, this is one of our computer models. We have several we can use to show you a future cast that kind of simulates weather conditions for the next couple of days. This one has uh, scattered showers in the area about 630 this evening. The few, he uh, few heavier thunderstorms should transit south and southeast of Washington overnight. So by tomorrow morning, cloudy, warm and humid through the day tomorrow. This model really develops some very, very heavy rain in the late afternoon from Hagerstown through Winchester into the southwest and brings a lot of that off to the east here. This uh, time stamp is nine o'clock tomorrow night. If this verifies, then heavy showers and thunderstorms indeed will be a possibility tomorrow night. So for the next few days, uh, kind of unsettled here with the sunshine today, 93 isolated showers and storms, a better chance of showers and storms tomorrow afternoon highs of 94 and an even higher probability of showers and thunderstorms as we head through the day on Friday and Friday evening. And again, any of these storms that do develop could produce some very, very heavy rainfall indeed. But notice the high on Friday, only 88 degrees. That's an improvement. All right, the next seven days for you. Now that's looking a little better. 93 tomorrow, 94 for the day on Friday and then into the 80s as we uh, get through the uh, Weekend into early next week, in a couple days, 87, 89. You get in that range, Jumi, 87, 88, 89. That's our average high for the end of July and beginning of August. But look at the thunderstorm and rain chances from Thursday through Monday. We need some rain. It looks like we're going to get it at times. Yeah, well, we know people need the rain as well. Yes, ma'am. All right, Doug, thank you. Well, okay. we want to get back to some breaking news from the uh, top of the hour of the uh, house fire in Fairfax. This is a live look from Sky Track 7. You can see part of the, the roof. You can kind of see holes in it, but we see several fire apparatus on that scene right now. This happening uh, on Fairfax Hunt Road. We do have a crew headed to the scene. Okay, that through those trees, you can kind of get a better angle via Sky Track 7 of uh, what happened in the roof there. Looks like the fire may be put out at least from the outside though, but we'll try to get an update for you as a Fairfax County fire crews remain on the scene at this hour. 
Coming up here on ABC 7 News at noon, a health alert from Consumer Reports. What they're saying about supplements that so many of us take and why you may be doing more harm than good by taking them. Hey, baby, how are you? I have a surprise for you. You have a surprise for me? At Dominion, one in five new hires is a veteran. And when they're away, they miss out on a lot. But they won't miss out on financial support because we cover any difference between their military pay and their Dominion salary and continue benefits for them and their families. Why do we do it? Because our vets sacrifice enough. Dominion, depend on us for more than energy. Stand by me. ABC 7 News is brought to you in part by Maryland Department of Health and Mental Hygiene. Attention homeowners, we're looking for 20 homes to participate in.